Hi, my name is Jason Bradley, the coordinator for our uh, program here in Yuma with the School of Nursing. Uh, we're on the second floor of the Academic Complex building. Uh, this, this half of the building here is our NAU faculty front office and the faculty offices with some additional resources that we'll show you. Uh, this here is our information board where Rosa posts information about our program, upcoming events. This is the administrative and faculty office. So faculty have uh, access to lots of resources. There's mailboxes, posts. Uh, they're usually student workers here, obviously copying machine and all the resources that faculty need to be successful. The rest of this general area uh, is additional uh, academic support services. So you'll notice to the left here we have academic advising. There is the uh, AVID Center, the Student Success Center. You can see there are students in there studying now. We have a conference room. This conference room is available for faculty use. We can attend uh, remotely uh, flag, flag staff meetings. We can also use this for student meetings. Uh, next door, this is the NAU Academic Assessment Center. You can see there are up to 10 spaces for computers. Uh, our students do their Kaplan pre-admission testing here for free, and uh, they take their Kaplan integrated testing uh, there as well. We have a faculty uh, break room here in staff uh, break room, so folks can bring their lunch and things of that nature. All the offices here are pretty similar. I'm going to show you two. First is my office, not fully moved into yet, uh, but you can notice we have, uh, these are Medi Dispense machines for our new labs. We're going to be seeing uh, the shells of those new labs here in a little bit, but this is a standard uh, university office. Uh, I happen to have a window. This is Professor Clark's office, just another example of an internal office. Plenty of space for privacy and meeting with students. All right, so we're still here on the second floor of the academic complex. We finished the faculty side. The other side of the building is all classrooms. We're gonna take a look at one classroom as an example. This classroom 289 is one of the larger classrooms that are available here. Uh, the other classrooms are about half this size, so they accommodate half as many students. We also have a theater style uh, classroom in the middle. All those other classrooms are currently occupied by students, so I'm unable to give you any video, but this is an example of, you can see adequate space, seating, uh, technology uh, and the like. All right, we're now on the first floor of the academic complex in the interior. Uh, outside are most of the classroom uh, have exterior entrances, but here in the main lobby, you'll notice there's vending, restrooms. Uh, across from me here is the academic complex computer lab. Uh, all NAU students have access to this computer lab. Within the lab, there's also a writing center for our NAU students. Just off of that computer lab is the site of our new health assessment and skills lab. Okay, so now we're outside the academic complex. Uh, what I'd like to show you now is the Matador Jacks uh, Student Lounge. This lounge opens early in the morning uh, and is open until I think 11 p.m. each night. So this is a free space for students to come and congregate, relax, study, chill, whatever the case may be. This is the inside of the Matador Jacks uh, Student Lounge. Uh, as you can see, it's just a place where students can relax, chill, nap, uh, take a break between class. There's writing boards, there's plenty of space to have a study group or, like I said, just relax. Uh, so now we're outside. Uh, the academic complex is to my right. Uh, the Learning Resource Center is to my left. The library is in the Learning Resource Center. So we'll be accessing the interior of that building to show you the space for the academic library. As you can see, all of the resources that uh, would be used in a library are available here. I'm gonna keep what I say to a minimum here just because it is a library and students are studying. So as you will note, here in the library, there are study rooms the students can use, uh, computers they can access. Uh, we have our librarians here uh, Monday through Friday. There is actually an NAU academic librarian here as well, Karen Herrig, uh, who helps support our students and make sure that we have proper nursing resources available uh, in the library. All right, so here we are on the second floor of the Science Research and Education Building, or the SR Building on campus. This is going to be the location, room 209 here will be uh, our new uh, simulation lab with our debriefing space, uh, all contained. Three separate rooms will be created. So this is the interior of current SR 209. As you can see, it's got some uh, sinks, uh, eye wash station. This was a, a traditional bench science uh, lab, a, a chemist, chemistry biology related lab. Uh, this space will be renovated. Uh, sometime in early 2019. Uh, we'll have three separate rooms. So room one will be our debriefing space. Room two in that back corner will be our uh, storage room with our observation room. That door is going to be closed off to contain that. And then this front corner here will be room three, which is our actual simulation suite where we'll have our uh, crash cart, our medi dispense machine, our bed, our patients, the mannequins we can move in and out uh, for things of that nature. Uh, down the hall here, you can see there are, uh, I think it's six or eight workstations set up for students uh, to use. 
uh, for computers as well. There are various sitting places along this hallway, whiteboards, again, uh, basically every space on this campus that can be used to help promote student learning and resources has been used in that way. So thank you very much. All right, so we're just outside the 3C building. 3C stands for the Community College Center. Uh, inside this building, there's a Starbucks. There's a, a place called the Eatery, essentially the cafeteria with lots of food options, uh, lots of places for students to sit, relax, uh, study, uh, fellowship. Uh, on the second floor, there's also a game room that some students may use. Uh, there's resources for NAU students from enrollment, advisement, I'm not sorry, advisement, enrollment, financial aid, and the registrar. All right, so now we're on the second floor of the 3C building. You can see behind me here is NAU Enrollment Services, so all of our students end up there. At some point uh, down the hall here is the uh, NAU Office for Admissions uh, and Transition Services. We also have uh, a center here for veteran and military services, and this is just the uh, front of the Enrollment Services office where students can come and get support uh, for getting enrolled in NAU while they're also at Arizona Western College. Now that we're leaving the campus, we're going to drive into town to the Yuma Regional Education Center uh, where our program has been uh, fully operational for 10 years now. We are now at Yuma Regional Education Center, which is across the street from Yuma Regional Medical Center in Yuma, Arizona. Uh, this has been the home uh, of my office for the last eight years and of our nursing program for the last 10 years. Here in Yuma Regional Education Center, uh, to my right is the largest conference room we have available. Students use this on Fridays for our health assessment lab. Uh, currently, it's in use by hospital staff today with uh, advanced cardiac life support. This is a, uh, a vending uh, lounge room where students have access to vending and space for studying and relaxing. This is the control room to our simulation space. And then this is our actual simulation lab. To the left here is our uh, health assessment and skills lab. We have a couple of faculty who are preparing for simulations for our women's and children's today. Uh, but as you can see, all the resources are available for students uh, to practice anything from assessment to any number of skills. This is another video conference room, uh, but again, could be used for uh, classroom as well. To the right here uh, is a small medical library computer lab. We have used this intermittently for various student testing and resources as well. All right, so as you can see, uh, right now at NAU Yuma, we're operating out of two locations here on the beautiful NAU Yuma Arizona Western Campus and the Yuma Regional Education Center. Thank you for watching our video. Have a great day.